My name is Brian Etheridge. I work at D3 Publisher of America, and I'm the senior producer on Turbo Super Stunt Squad. If you have the skills, you might just have what it takes to join Team Turbo in DreamWorks Turbo Super Stunt Squad, the video game. Feed the speed and perform awesome stunts with Turbo and his crew. So Turbo is uh, a snail, and he's sort of seems to be kind of bored with his life, going slow, moving at a snail's pace. And he uh, spends his days sort of watching Indy 500 races and memorizing lines of his favorite racers. And he dreams of going fast. And that's, he, you know, he knows that's not something that can happen. But he actually gets in a, in a sort of freak accident, actually gets the ability to go fast. And all of a sudden, you know, he meets a friend named Tito who works at a taco stand. And he sorts of starts to realize his dream and gets the, uh, the ability to try and race in the Indy 500. So it's, uh, you know, it's an underdog story, and we're all rooting for Turbo. And along the way, he gets to meet a really kind of a crazy cast of characters led by Samuel Jackson and his gang of snails. And uh, they teach him how to think like a snail. And uh, you know, it's, it's a really cool kind of underdog story. Uh, we're not really telling too deep of a story. What we did was we took kind of what happens in the game and we expanded on it a little, or sorry, what happens in the film, and we expanded on it a bit. The uh, game actually takes place a little bit after the movie, and Turbo's got his super abilities and his uh, friends. We wanted to give them a little bit of a boost so they kind of have some of the same speed that Turbo gets. So the characters get, uh, they start out a, lo a little slower, and then as the gameplay progresses, they're going to earn upgrades, they're going to get tune-ups, they can get stickers they can slap on the side of their shell that helps them go faster or jump higher. Uh, all those sorts of things happen throughout the game as you progress. Uh, on the handheld games, on the DS, the 3DS, and the Wii, we also have some cool uh, sort of special moves that you get when you do stunts. So for instance, you get turbos, you can eat a tomato and get super strength, you can use a taco shell as a shield, or you can dump a packet of salt uh, behind you and, and trip up one of the other snails that might be catching up on you. One of the things that we find uh, when making kids games is that we have a lot of fun trying to make it uh, sort of work for kids and also work for the adults at the same time. I think one of the challenges is making sure that you can uh, sort of span that wide of a gap. You know, we want to make a, uh, a game that's primarily done for kids that are in the 6 to 11 range, but also if parents want to pick up and play with their kids, they can, and it's fun for them. So, uh, you know, that's, I think, probably the unique challenge is making it so that we have a, a wide variety of objectives that are both easy and a little more challenging for the adults. Uh, we did kind of think about this game from the stunt perspective from the start. So we looked at, uh, you know, titles uh, that, that sort of focused on that from the beginning and thought about, you know, okay, well, what can we do that sort of breaks the uh, boundary of, well, you look at the movie and you think, okay, well, he's going to race. He's going to go really fast, which he does. But we also wanted to sort of take advantage of what he is, and he's a snail, and he can do snaily things that a car can't. So we really wanted to take that focus and, and sort of spin the game on that uh, end and see what we could do with making challenges where the player can go vertical or upside down. Uh, you know, that's what we do on the DS and the 3DS. And then on the, uh, on the console game, really, you know, just take this environment and let the player explore it and just go crazy and have fun trying to get to a certain ledge or jump up to a certain spot, you know, get, get fast enough or jump high enough to get to all these locations and explore. We do have uh, some of the voice actors from the film in the game. Uh, Snoop Lion, uh, who plays the character Smooth Move, who's like a lowrider snail. He uh, did the film and also did the game for us, which was a lot of fun to work on. We also got Ben Schwartz, who uh, uh, does a show called Parks and Rec out in the States. And uh, he voiced Skidmark in both the film and the game. And a guy named Mike Bell, who, uh, who does uh, White Shadow, one of the funniest characters. And uh, he came down and did the game with us, as well as the movie. It was, you know, one of the things that we noticed with the characters, they all have sort of like a different unique style. Each of the snails is based off of kind of like a different car type. So what we really wanted to do, and the big challenge there, was to try and get that style of car to come out in the way that the character moves and the way that they jump, the way that they twist. So for example, uh, Smooth Move is a lowrider sort of snail. And so, you know, his, his moves are all very fluid and stylish as opposed to Turbo, who's really quick and fast and can turn on a dime 
and a little more jumpy. Uh, so we had to sort of find a way to make the uh, characters feel different in that sense. And that was actually kind of a lot of fun. So the uh, film is going to be coming out October 9th in Holland. And uh, it's gonna, the game is going to be coming out just beforehand. And so uh, it's going to be coming out on the Xbox 360, the PlayStation 3, the Wii U, the Wii, the 3DS, and the DS.